of stuff that I got from ColourPop. A couple things I want to talk about while we're doing this. First of all, my lens thing broke. So I'm getting another one, but a couple of my videos are going to look like this, which is sort of, you know, fine, but not really what I like. So this is the box. Um, a lot of this, some of this stuff came from ColourPop. They were in different orders. I've just been waiting. Um, I almost always just buy them I only buy stuff on sale unless it's limited edition. So I did get this um, face and body makeup from Soul Body. That is their sister company that they have. It's like your favorite ColourPop stuff. Why, tell me down below what it is. But this is in the shade medium 10. It does seem to be a little bit dark. So I have some of their pretty fresh foundations with hyalur hyaluronic. Yeah, hyaluronic hydrating foundation. Um, I have this one is in the shade medium 80W. This one is medium 83C. This is supposed to be creamy light diffusing foundation. This one right here. It's supposed to be like transfer proof. I'm go ahead and use this. You're supposed to use a denser brush with this. So I'm going to use this brush and this is from Real Techniques. And it's like a slanted like small kabuki brush. I know some people don't like cool coverage foundations. It's funny, I actually never even started wearing makeup until I was in my mm, probably mid 30s. So I didn't ever used to use makeup at all. ColourPop is, you know, fairly affordable, especially if you get stuff on a sale. And they almost always have a sale. The only time I ever buy anything full price is if it's like, like the Hocus Pocus collection, which was limited edition and last year it sold out it was crazy so they had a hocus pocus collection for this year which i ended up getting i actually don't put foundation on my head on my forehead because i feel like it doesn't really need it and i and i feel like that's the one place like i have wrinkles it's hard because i don't want it to settle into the wrinkle i think it's matching me pretty good this foundation i know the trend right now is like no makeup makeup or whatever but that's just not me if i'm gonna put the effort to put on makeup i just won't wear makeup or if i'm gonna um, put the effort into wearing makeup, then, you know, I want to wear makeup and play with it. I do have, um, this darkness above my lip, sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't, is melasma. So I did a lot of great things to uh, ensure that my skin was in good condition, but the one place I think I neglected in terms of sunscreen and things like that is just above my lip. But I am 44 years old, and so this is sun damage. I am using some products to lighten it, which will work, but it will probably take a few months. Next, I always do my under eyes. I know some people, again, I'm going to quit saying that because like everybody does different with their makeup. Um, I don't have, I do have color pop concealer, but I really only use Tarte Shape Tape, whether it's the old version or the creamy version. Since this isn't super, super matte, let's go ahead and use the creamy version. This is ultra creamy and I have it in the shade uh, 22 light neutral, 22 and light neutral. Some people love this and some people don't. I have not really found anything that works like this. I have one little line underneath each of one of my eyes, but I feel like when I put this on properly, like it doesn't settle. So the thing is you can't put too much. So I put it right in the corner just like that and I'm just going to dab it and bring it towards the outside, sort of diffuse that. If you end up needing a little more than great, it's better than having too much. And I always bring my concealer up to pull my eye up. Um, the one thing about Tarte Shape Tape is you do have to, have you know, to spread it out fairly quickly. I used to try like color correctors and stuff. I've, I've had dark circles like my whole life. Not my whole life, but most of my life. It's more hereditary. Um, and I've tried color correctors in the past. They don't seem to necessarily work for me personally. So now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me powder. And this one is in Fair Light number 10. I'm going to set this uh, concealer. So I make sure that I tap it out of the crease before I set it. 
And I put my head down like this because it's going to straighten out that wrinkle a little bit. So next I'm going to do brows. I did like a pretty long explanation of brows in my last Get Ready With Me. So I'm going to go ahead and do brows off camera. And we're not going to really go through that because it's a... For me, I take like a jillion years on my brows and that's just me because I like but to I have a a full brow playlist and I will leave that linked so that you can check that out. Okay, like I know it's not a big deal, but I'm like so annoyed that I don't have my lens. I have a, a backup lens at my other, at my backup apartment, which I haven't been to in quite a while, but my partner is there right now. So I just was like, hey, I need my lens. It was so weird. It goes over my phone and it just widens this, you know, the, the view. And I put it on and literally the lens, just like, like your glasses lens, it just was like, boop, and it just fell out. Like, I have no idea why or what happened. Anywho. All right. So I think I'm going to put a separate video up where I go through all of these products because there's a lot that I want to say about them. And I have like a lot. Eyeshadow. I got a bunch of these like super shock shadows. So I don't know if I want to use those. And I also got this just a glitch palette. I don't feel like this is like a fall palette though. And this is going up and let's go ahead and use this then. This is the It's a Mood palette, which I was so excited when they put this out and I wanted it, but it's $32. And not that that's a lot, but I just was like, you know what? It's a permanent palette. So although ColourPop does like to discontinue stuff like random without telling you, but I knew it was brand new and it wasn't going to be going anywhere. I have their Stone Cold Fox palette that is the same size. I don't know. It's not. Oh, it's over there. I can't reach it. And I love them. The one thing that I absolutely love about the eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop is they're magnetic. So this is what it looks like. Ooh gosh isn't this so gorgeous a lot of times I do like a very repetitive color scheme but this one is um, insane the only thing is is that this one this one and this one is a pressed glitter and you really shouldn't put that around your eyes but the thing about that I love is that these come out so once I use it today I'm going to take these shadows out and replace them um, I have a bunch of of their like nine pan palettes and what I did was so I have a bunch of these empty palettes that you can get from them and I have them, this is my extra shadows and I break them up from in color. So these are all the same size as this particular palette. They do have some palettes that are this size. So, but like, so for instance, and this is so pretty. So these are all my purple shadows. So I'll go through and switch them out later. I'm so excited. Mm -mm. Okay, so what should we do? After this, I'm filming a wig clutter, essentially, like chopping block. I went through my um, long-term collection, and sometimes it just gets too much. And usually I just declutter them and sell the, the ones I'm not going to keep on Poshmark. But this time I thought I would, like, share that with you and, like, what my thought process is. Let's swatch a couple because I don't even know what these look like. I think I'm gonna do purple and I'm liking this. This is definitely a very cool toned, sort of taupey lavender, but I, I feel like this is a duochrome right here. They have really, really good shadows. I mean, for the price, but even not for the price. Oh yeah, it's a duochrome. So if you can see that shadow, see how it's like pink in certain light. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't think I need to look any further. Let's just do and use this purple. And that's why I really like this because if you can see, they're all like, these are in the greens. These are in sort of those Pinky, red or mauvey tones, burgundy. These are in sort of just neutral brown, purple, blue, and then this sort of green, yellow situation over here. This is a beautiful teal. So after this, I'm gonna film a video on let me put, I don't know if there's fallout on these, so let me put a little bit, a, I dusted the powder off when I did my um, under eyes, but I'm gonna put a little bit more powder, just in case. And you, when you do this, if the shadow like falls down, then you just wipe it all away with the powder that's underneath. I'm gonna start out with this brush from Flower Beauty, and this is like sort of a large brush. And we're gonna go in with this shade here called night call i did this get this mac paint pot 
And so I want to go ahead and use this as an eyeshadow base. I'm going to film a lot after this. So I am going to be filming next a uh, wig declutter. And I'll just sort of like go through the ones that I think I'm not, sh I'm not sure if I want to get rid of them or not. And I will try them on for you. Spoiler alert, this is Motown Tress's Peggy. And I'm not getting rid of her. So, but she was in the pile of ones that I didn't know for sure if I wanted to keep or not. Oh, 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 oh,